Hello, I'm Tim, and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech on YouTube. If you've purchased or are thinking of purchasing your first YubiKey, then this guide is for you, as I will show you how easy it is to secure some of your online accounts with a Yubico YubiKey and the Yubico Authenticator application. So stay tuned, and we will hop onto my PC and I will show you how to get started. Now, this video is made for beginners or first time users of a YubiKey security key. So you may want to pay attention to that. However, you can still watch it anyway, of course. Just before we hop onto my PC, you will find a 5% discount link in this video description that will take you to the Yubico website where it will automatically put a YubiKey 5C series into your shopping basket and it will also apply a 5% discount and if you want to order more than one YubiKey of course you can but you will still get I think believe the 5% discount so you'll still get the 5% discount on two so without further ado delay let's get to it now to get started with your YubiKey what you first need to do is install the Yubico Authenticator application now to download this you go to the Yubico website which is www.yubico.com and from the Yubico website which you'll be seeing here on the screen once you've got to the website you click on support at the top then from the support menu go to downloads which is in the left hand side menu you will see under get started we've got find the right yubikey set up your yubikey and downloads so what you need to do is click downloads then from the downloads page what we need to do is download the yubico authenticator so for yubico authenticator click on downloads then scroll down and you will see towards the bottom we have download Yubico Authenticator and we have Yubico Authenticator for desktop and Yubico Authenticator for mobile. Now you can install the Authenticator on your Windows PC, your Mac, your Android phone or tablet or your iOS, so Apple mobile or tablet. In this case we're going to be installing it for the PC so what we need to do is for Windows here click on download for windows directly here 64 bit so select this option then you will get a save as window you may or may not get this window it may just download it automatically but what you need to do is save the yubico authenticator version 7.0.0 hyphen win 64 so save it somewhere in your computer so click save Go to your downloads and then open up the authenticator application and it will say do you want to run this file so click run and then it will say welcome to the Yubico authenticator setup wizard so click next and what you would do is just click next however in this case I've already installed it so I've got a repair and a remove option so what I'm going to do is click repair and then click repair however if you haven't got the repair option just click next and follow the steps to install it and once it's installed click finish so whichever option you choose you'll get finish and then once you've installed it you can close the downloads and the Yubico website and then from your desktop to open the Yubico authenticator what you need to do is click on your start button then go to all apps then scroll down to the bottom to the section for Y so program names with Y and you'll see a Yubico folder open this and inside there you will see Yubico authenticator you probably won't see YubiKey manager but I've already installed YubiKey manager which is why I have two options here so click on Yubico authenticator to open it and it should open on the screen like this so it will say insert your YubiKey 
if it doesn't and it's saying about privileges just accept the elevation privileges to open the application once we've done that and got the program open sign into your google account as you normally would and this should take you to the home page so you should say welcome and you should have various options on screen like this now from the left hand side menu we'll select security once we've selected security we can close that pop-up window at the right hand side with all the google apps in it so click the gray circle with the dots in it and that will hide that window as you can see now what we need to do to use our YubiKey with our google account is click on two-step verification so it's the first option at the top so select two-step verification under how to sign in to google then you will get the second steps so you'll get two-step verification and then second steps now what we're going to select is authenticator so we're going to add authenticator app so click on this option and then you will get the authenticator app window as you will see on screen and what we're going to do is click on set up authenticator then on screen you should get a QR code so what we're going to do is now open our Yubico authenticator application and we're going to take our YubiKey and insert it into a free USB slot on your computer so I've just inserted my YubiKey now with the YubiKey inserted you will see we've got a menu with some options in the Yubico authenticator app so we've got home then we've got for the second option we've got two little people so it's for accounts third option is for pass keys fourth option is for certificates and then the fifth option is for slots so what we're going to do from the top is select the second option down so not the home one but the next one to it so it's for accounts and what we're going to do is click on add account then from the option that appears it's saying add account now we can add manually or scan QR code so what we're going to do is click scan QR code and what it will do or what it should do is scan this QR code that Google has generated so click scan QR code and as you can see it appears to already have scanned it because the issuer name is in there Google and we've got our account name so it's our email address and then we have a secret key which is already scanned from the QR code so under the option for require touch we'll click this and as you can see it's put a little tick against it now what this means is when you insert your YubiKey and when you want to authenticate your login to your website you will have to touch the gold panel on the YubiKey so this is just another security method so it's an enhancing the security of your YubiKey having to do this so I recommend ticking require touch so once you've done that we can then click save in the Yubico authenticator and as you can see for our account we've now got an account called Google in there so what it's done is added Google account to our YubiKey so now for the setup authenticator app with the QR code we can click next and what we're going to do it's asking us to enter a code this is to check that we've got the right credentials stored on our YubiKey and that the codes work so what we're going to do to enter the code is in the YubiCo authenticator double click on our Google so double click and then it will ask you to touch your YubiKey so touch your YubiKey and as you can see it's generated a code so click on this code once then click copy to clipboard and then for the setup authenticator app window paste this code in there and click verify and it's verifying code and as you can see it's now said authenticator app has been set up so that's now set up our authenticator application for our YubiKey and our YubiKey 
in our Google account. So whenever we log into our Google account, it will ask us to insert the YubiKey, touch the key, and then what we'll do is copy and paste that code into the credential box for our Google account. However, you may or may not be prompted for your YubiKey when you sign in to the same computer. So if you're using the same computer to access your Google account that you've just added your YubiKey to and using the same computer that you've added your YubiKey with, you may not be asked for you to insert your YubiKey and enter the code. This is because it recognizes you from your IP address. So your IP address and cookies on your computer will link you to say that you've already been authenticated. But if you sign in from another device or if you're on a mobile network, for example, and you're using mobile Wi-Fi or 5G or 4G, for example, you then would be required to use your YubiKey to access your Google account. Now, in this second one, we're going to use our YubiKey with our Microsoft account, which I hope is one of the other popular ones that um, you would want to use your YubiKey for in uh, conjunction as well with the Google one, which I've just shown you. So what I've done is logged into my Microsoft account and selected from the left hand side security. And then what we're going to do is manage how I sign in. So click this option. This will then take you into ways to prove who you are. Now at the moment, I've got a password which is up to date and also I receive a text on my mobile. But I'd rather not have text on my mobile, I'd rather use the YubiKey. So what we're going to do is add a new way to sign in or verify. So we'll click this option. Then what we'll do is from the pop-up window, we'll select use an app. So now we've got set up the Microsoft Authenticator app and we don't want to use the Microsoft one. So what we're going to do is set up a different Authenticator app. So as you'll see here, we've got a link. So we'll click on that. Then at the same thing with our Google account, we've got a QR code. So what we're going to do is open the Ubico Authenticator. Then with our Ubico Authenticator still open on screen, as you'll see here, from the three dots at the right hand side, select this and we're going to under setup, click add account. Then from the add account, we've got a scan QR code button. So click this. And as you'll see, it's now got issuer Microsoft my account username which of course is my email address and we've got a security key already entered in there so for require touch we're going to click this again to put a tick next to it as you'll see here so that we have to touch the YubiKey each time and what we'll do is just then click save so you'll see we've now got two accounts we've got Google and Microsoft so what we'll do is double click Microsoft touch our YubiKey and as you can see it's generated a code so we'll double click on this code copy to clipboard and then in the box on the Microsoft website paste in that code and click next this then has now added our YubiKey to our Microsoft account as you will see we've got enter a code from an authenticator app so that confirms that you can now enter a code to log into your Microsoft account along with your username and password. You will then get a code which it will ask you for and which the YubiKey will generate from our YubiCo Authenticator application. So you can see we're in there at the moment in the Microsoft one here. So just click close and then it takes you back to the list of accounts. So we've now got two accounts in there. So hopefully that shows you how to add Google and Microsoft to your YubiKey. Hope you found this video really easy to follow. Hope it works for you as well. And hope you like this video. More videos are coming up, various videos on different things about technology. So keep an eye out on my channel for those videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching this video. 
Take care. Bye for now.